Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an update on why I why I sold all my Afria shares, why why I'm very bearish on Afria, why I'm very cautious on the company, and I may buy some again just for a gamble if it drops a certain price point. But right now, I'm very very bearish on Afria because you uh I'll explain in this video so. Uh, before I begin, this is a stock market promotion. I made a video today. I sold my I sold some of Roy's stock today. Uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, uh, check it out. Uh, I also updated my uh, December third and fourth trades, so it, you know check it out if you want to see my trades. Um. So today. I mean, I thought we were gonna have a Santa rally. I was, uh, I was so confident we were gonna have a Santa rally. There was so much good news coming on, and it didn't happen. It's you know the Dow is down, the Nas SP and 500 is down, the Nasdaq is down. Gold is also, I mean, oil is also a little bit down, but uh, that's all right. Whatever. I'd rather have a stock market crash, just go get it over with, and not worry about it. And right now I'm in a good cash position, so I'm I'm pretty happy where I am, even if the market crash. So uh, today, after uh, today, so I guess I'll disclose it. I'm no longer an Afria shareholder. I sold out of everything I had today. I sold out a thousand U.S. shares. I sold out of my uh, Afria shares at six thirty-five, and then I sold off some more Afria share at six forty-four. I took a loss of probably five thousand Canadian dollars. But that's all right. That's not that's not a big deal. I lost way more money on Aurora than so I you know. Five thousand doesn't even flinch me really at the end of the day. But yeah, I sold off Afria. Now the stock price is five ninety nine. I still think the stock's gonna go down even further. I mean, if you look at the chart, it's it's you know it's down to where it used to be when before the the two thousand eight rally. Oh, sorry, the 2007 rally, 17 rally. I think it's gonna go down lower. I think it's gonna go down to like four, four or five, four to three bucks. Just my opinion. We'll see what happens though. The the market cap for the company is. Uh, let's see if I can get it up for you. Oops, TMX. The market cap for this company is one point five billion dollars. I think this thing go can go lower. I think, I think this market cap should go under a billion dollars in my opinion. So it still has a, a ways to go down. Just my opinion though. We'll see what happens in the future. This the stock got quite diluted over time, but we'll see what happens. I do believe that this stock is heading below a bill, one billion dollar market cap. Um. So this company called uh, Quins Quinstel Capital Management, uh, they sh came out and they shorted uh, Afria. They've been pretty successful. Uh, they had a pretty good history of successfully exposing companies that are crooked and corrupt, and they have seized the uh, folly folly to to no longer trade went from a billion dollar market cap to absolutely not trading on the stock market same with a company called global uh, this is a European company because that, lo that looks like euro dollars and they had some for ACC brought down the market cap quite dramatically also with another company called ability so they have a good history of uh, bringing out the bad in the company and they decided to investigate it Afria they say that the Afria uh, merger and acquisition fee uh, spree in you know Europe uh, in you know Latin America is all is outrageous they pay too much the the inflating the the they're paying too much for it and there's a lot of insiders that are benefiting from their mergers and acquisition spree uh, you know that's what they are accusing of Af uh, Afria of doing. You know they're, they're, they're accusing Afria of stealing from retail investors and funneling it into insiders. 
through a company called Synth Synthi Bioscience Corp. So, you know, that's what they're accusing. The Nevada deal, I think it's a little stupid because, you know, they closed this Nevada deal, uh, sorry, Nuvara deal. Uh, let's see if I can, I have it here. They close. They closed this Navarro deal around March 27, 2018, and Africa doesn't even Africa doesn't even have a, a GMP certified facility, and they say that they have 13,000 pharmacies in three different countries, but they can't even they, they can't even ship the products internationally, and it's been probably seven months since they own the uh, own uh, Navarra, and then there's also some other stuff. Uh, in here that is bad like they said that uh hold on like this has been out for a while so we this is no knowledge from people and i guess shareholders kind of ignored it but the nevada deal there was already a um uh, afria insiders that admit that they have taken uh undisclosed stakes in nevada before afria bought them out so afria bought Basically themselves out. They they bought out Navara, uh, Nuvara, while there's already Africa insiders inside the company that already has a position in the company at a very very cheap price, making the you know insiders very a lot of money when they got acquired by Africa. And who's paying for this? Retail investors. So, you know, that's not cool. I, I didn't, when I heard this news back in the day, I did not like that. I thought that was retarded. Uh, but, you know, the market decided to totally ignore this. And they, uh, they somehow managed to get listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So, that's why I don't like, uh, I, you know, I listened to the press presentation and... It doesn't sound right. I mean, they've they done a lot of work. They, they actually visited... Like, if you look at the new acquisition, uh, Lama, $280 million they bought, um, they, they, they looked into it and they, they noticed that, you know, they, they traveled to, like, all three of these locations and, you know, they, they, they found some very, very concerning topics that is basically shell companies that are just, uh, giving insiders a ton of money. So... Yeah, I know. I really don't like, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe this is all fake. Maybe this is all a lie. It could be, but th this company has a good track record and they're shorting Afria. They're not, they're not just going out and just, you know, making up bullshit. I mean, they might be bending the truth a little bit because short sellers do that. They kind of bend the truth to make the company look as negative as possible, but there has to be some truth into this. It's probably in the middle between, you know, between what Afria said and, you know, Afria came out and tried to defend themselves. Um, so, but, you know, they, they, they released this early in the morning, uh, 8.21 Eastern Time, and, you know, the stock market didn't react too well to it. Be uh, so, maybe... Maybe these guys are onto something and, you know, shareholders are shorting the crap out of the, the shorters are crap, uh, shorting the crap out of the stock. Maybe that's why. And a lot of shareholders are also selling. I sold off my stock. So, you no. Know, after some research today, after listening to some people talk about it, I, I heard uh, Midas Letter talk about it. I heard... You know, Rich lie talk about it. I heard some other guy on YouTube talk about it. I, I, I just been reading stuff, doing research. Um, and you know, I mean, what am I really buying to this company? I'm buying into greenhouses and Broken Coast, which I mean, I think they overpaid for Broken Coast. They paid two hundred and thirty million dollars for a company that can produce five thousand kgs a product. Couldn't they just build an indoor facility? for like a quarter of that price and you know you know be good why would they have to buy I mean Broken Coast does have the best products 
one of the best products on the market. So maybe that's the reason why they paid. But I still think they kind of overpaid for Broken Coast. $230 million in cash and stock. $10, $10 million in cash. You know, and then the rest in shares. I mean, I guess since the shares kind of deflated, it makes it better. But these guys could have already sold out already. They could have got their shares at fifteen oh nine. The stock went up all the way to twenty plus dollars, and they could have sold out already. So, you know, they could have ran with the money. So, that's my opinion only. In my opinion, I think they also kind of overpay for Broken Coast because they they own they they're, they're buying they're paying two hundred thirty million dollars for five thousand kgs of product, and then they have to use their own money to increase their production to ten kgs. Oh, I don't know. I just I don't think that's you know right. Uh. Yeah. Uh. That's all I really have to say. I mean, like they, they bought a company in Nevada. Can he can can he even ship product to international because Africa doesn't even have a GMP certified facility. A, a, when Aurora purchased out Pedanios, a few months later they certified their facility into a, a GMP certified facility so they can quickly ship product. I mean, uh, 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 Africa owned Nevada for like seven months now, eight, six months now, and they still have not announced a uh, GMP EU certified facility yet. So there's something, definitely something wrong there. You know, after, you know, I sold it now after hours, it's already down another 5%. So I'm assuming tomorrow's going to be another brutal red day. I mean, if it drops to a certain price, I might make a gamble on it just for fun. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna stay away from this because I don't, I don't trust. I mean, I never really had a good feeling about Afria, uh, and now that you know, a short seller sa says that the, we've done our research, we've done our work, and we're shorting Afria, and they have good background. I mean, if it was Citron, I might be like, yeah, okay, you know, it's Citron. Citron has been wrong before. But th these guys, they done their research. They traveled to Africa's, uh, like they they traveled all the way to Africa's, like international companies that they bought out or international assets that they bought out, and you know they done their research and they they find nothing attractive about this company. Uh, so you no, know, that's why the stock price is dropping. And you know if a if Africa gets delisted from the New York Stock Exchange from this, oh man, that would be so bad for bag holders of Africa. I just I hope it nothing bad happens, for you know the sake of Africa shareholders. But this is one company I'm staying away from because I I believe that there's better buys out there. Just my opinion though. You know, after hours, Aurora is up five cents. I mean. And then Canopy is also up twenty cents. I I think this is temporary. I think the the stock prices are are gonna fall because the market has been so brutal lately. Tilray, I did, no prediction for Tilray. I just I don't know where this stock's going in the short term, the long term. I just I don't know. I I, I have no idea that they're backed by billionaires. That's one thing I know for sure. So I mean, having a market cap of nine point three billion U.S. dollars makes absolutely no sense. But it is what it is, I guess. Anyways, uh, this is my uh, Afria shareholder update. Uh, I like I said, I disclosed that I sold off all my Afria shares. I'm no longer an Afria shareholder. Shareholder, uh, I and I still believe that the stock price can go down even further. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this content. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.